we leave our legacy in your hands. Hej, cześć, siemano wam wszystkim, ludzie z tej strony Jack, witam się z wami bardzo serdecznie w kolejnym odcinku, zagrajmy w Hogwarts Legacy. Kontynuujemy naszą przewieszkę przez poboczniaki, których zostaje nam coraz mniej, a to... A to bardzo dobrze. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might in fact have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe. And he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way, but that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Revelio. Chyba jestem za wysoko, żeby ją pokazał. Okej. Czyli to była tylko gadka. Hmm. 
Fajne jest to, że Irytek się pojawia w tej grze. Teraz szkoda, że nie ma go w filmach. Dobra, znikaj to. No bo jasno zniknę, bo nie chce mi się za bardzo z nim gadać. Hmm. Dobra, czyli zostało nam tylko popi póki co. Zlokalizuj w takim razie. Oznacz. No i lecimy do grobowca Jackdaw'a. O, albo nie. Tu, do zachodniego zakazanego lasu. Tu powinno być bliżej. Ok, 200 metrów niecałe. No, myślę, że podob podobny dystans byśmy zaliczyli z tego grobowca. Kurde, pamiętam do dzisiaj, jak robiłem ten obóz poza nagraniem, nagle mi tu centaury wyleciały i pomogły, nie? No idea, skąd one się wzięły, ale akcja była świetna i żałuję, że tego nie, wam nie pokazałem. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. A to zobaczymy. Bo w sumie tutaj też musimy z centaurami pogadać, tylko wiedząc jak to wygląda za czasów Harego w zakonie Feniksa, czy nie, bo w zakonie to było jeszcze gorzej, ale ogólnie jak to wygląda, a to się dzieje jeszcze 100 lat wcześniej, plus minus, no to może być ciężko się dogadać. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. <laughs> to się im na pewno nie spodoba. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Oho, chyba nadchodzą. No, aż się ziemia trzęsie. Ja nie wiem, czy stado to jest dobre określenie na taką grupę. To się jeśli chodzi o centaury, bo nie wiem, czy to nie będzie. Nie, nie stary, co ty kupi? Odsłap tę różdżkę! Mogę dać znać, jak się podoba mi We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Protego? Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, It will be all three of your heads. Okay, chyba zielonki centaury, które pomogły mi z tym obozem kawałek dalej się nie pochwaliły, że czarodziej pomógł. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before I... Golden Sigits are still alive and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Okay, jakoś poszło. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal 
doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Zaufajmy mu. On akurat wydawał się być faktycznie spoko ziomkiem. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Aha, i co? To też była taka... taka o, a nie, czekaj, coś tu mam oznaczone. Tylko co? Aha, już tylko to mi zostało. No dobra. No to chyba będę musiał to teraz kontynuować. Chyba, że... Yy, mis... O, proszę tutaj. Nowa misja poboczna, dobra. Ale to kiedy indziej. E, będę musiał kontynuować chyba fabułę. Chyba, że teraz po fast travelu popi się do nas odezwie. No niestety jednak nie. Okay, tu możemy zagadać z psorem. No, zobaczmy. Profesor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? I wondered if I might ask how long you've been teaching at Hogwarts. Well, it's been what now? <laughs> Seven swift years. Time does fly because we have fun. Essential in my opinion. An eager, positive and confident mind is the most open to knowledge, I find. Some of the professors may not agree with your approach. <laughs> well, each of us has our own style. I suppose. Some in the teaching field believe that hard work and dedication are the only keys to success. But they forget what drives those things. If one cannot fathom why some would expend energy on gobstones, then one is blind to the enormous power of play. And that's why you teach the way you do. Precisely. I strive to be the sort of professor... A dobra, czekaj, to już było. Perhaps... To już na początku, w pierwszym odcinku już to przegadaliśmy. To, 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 dobra, to albo się to powtórzyło, albo ja nie ogarnąłem czegoś. A jak robiłem tutaj powtórkę. Hmm. Kurde, ja chciałbym sobie do figa pójść później, więc może zajmiemy się najpierw tą misją. E, poboczną od tej puchonki. Chcę też chciałbym sprawdzić, o co w ogóle będzie chodzić. Zaczekajmy na nią. Evangelina Barcy. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline. Addy and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. 
I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour, but mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. Dokładnie. Latałem sobie po prostu po Hogwarcie i zobaczyłem dwa dzwony w tej dzwonicy odstawione i je zawiesiłem po prostu. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do, and I hope that you do as well. I don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Okay, Ruk Buchoroszcza, Buchorożyca. Dobra, no to to byłoby misja błyskawiczna. Dobra, tutaj coś jeszcze mamy. Kort przywoływaczy i to będzie chyba tyle. W Hogsmeade może jakiś poboczny jak jeszcze się pojawił? Nie. Kurde, nie lubię tego kortu robić na nagraniach, bo to nie jest tak naprawdę nic szczególnie ciekawego. Dobra, no to lecimy jednak do Figa. Klasa Sora Figa. Dobra, może przy dobrych wiatrach ten quest uda się zrobić dość szybko. Ale chyba naprawdę przyjdzie nam użyć eliksiru wielosokowego. I hope I... Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir... There's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lord Gok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Okej, okay. jestem naprawdę zdumiony jego rad, jako faktycznym przygotowaniem. Okej. Okay. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. 
She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> Not much of them Black the ghost as house elf. <laughs> Gdzie w którym Black tylko jedzie z nim jak do pożaru, no to pewnie tak. <laughs> Dziwnie jest słyszeć komplement z, z, z dyrektora. O kurde, ale co się stanie, jak ktoś nas złapie, jakiś nauczyciel i będzie się z nami zagadać. Professor, oh, 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 oh. a moment of your time, please. Professor, <laughs> no, I was hoping to catch you. Oh, I... I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Now I... I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student? Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable... I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. <laughs> oh, yes, just so that. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, uh, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there's one for my diary. Co? Jakby błagam, niech potem Gary będzie mógł z nami o tym pogadać, a my będziemy się mogli do tego przyznać. Bo to jest za dobre, żeby tego nie wykorzystać. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I... Headmaster, here, what could he want? O, co jest? Czemu mam, czemu mam krzyżaka na dole? A jak rozumiem, nikogo nie, nie zdziwiło to oto, tak? Że właśnie wyciągnąłem ten dziennik, który jest tylko w moim posiadaniu. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Something is very wrong. O oh, je, yeah. to się naprawdę Professor, może nieźle, nieźle potoczyć. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to. What? 
nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I've a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Greetings! I mean... Out of my way, children! Black ma tak niską renomę w Hogwarcie, a my jeszcze mu ją obniżamy chyba do najniższego możliwego poziomu. <laughs> Niżej. <laughs> Dobra, czekaj, gdzie tu się szło? Czekaj, tu się, tu się... A, ten tutaj. Dobra. <clears throat> A że nie dziwi, że Black tak po prostu chodzi, chodzi sobie po tym? Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Ta jest jakiś dziwny, ale teraz zauważyłaś? Bo on jest jakiś dziwny od dłuższego czasu. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Ale muszę przyznać, że... Professor, a word, please. Ale muszę przyznać, że jak na... Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Blacka to Weasley. naprawdę nie oh, że się wczuliśmy w rolę. Delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Uh, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. <laughs> that ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Hey, Professor. Quite as hard a worker as any house elf. O Jezu, co się stało z tym uchem? Można by wspominać, że on jest bez ucha. Scroop! Oh, a greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scroop begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Okay, to pamiętam. I, uh... Słuchaj, bo coś z czystości... Master, co, 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 z czystością krwi coś tam było. O, nad jest. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, 
It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Ahem. Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the elegant banners of Ravenclaw. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. <laughs> Oj, to się naprawdę może ciekawie potoczyć. <śmiech> Że nigdzie... O, ok, proszę pani, idzie cyk unik i co? Nikt na to nie zwraca uwagi. Dobra, oddawać mi moje ciało. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Okej. Okay. Niech i tak będzie zatem. No i dobra, fajnie się udało. No, myślałem, że znowu będą się napieprzać, no. No niestety. Ale dobra, czyli co? Tutaj mam ten kort przebywaczy, co myślę wykonam, ale to oczywiście poza nagraniem. I to zrobię od razu. A potem trzeba się zabrać za skończenie tego aktu. Bo <śmiech> dopóki tego nie zrobimy, no to dalej nie będzie już czego robić. <śmiech> Jak to wygląda, jeśli chodzi o misję? Mhm. Znać portret profesor Fitzgerald. I jest próba. Czyli kolejny odcinek będzie końcem trzeciego aktu. Dobrze, ode mnie to będzie w takim razie w tym odcinku tyle. Do usłyszenia i do zobaczenia w kolejnym materiale. Zagrajmy w Hogwarts Legacy. Cześć!